please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, eh, hete. Face TV. Uswobi.
What you are giving so far, we pray God Almighty we console you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Sudden and untimely death like this will never happen again in your midst in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me remind you all, as I also remind myself, that this is the end of man. Whatever he desired to achieve in life, if he was able to achieve them or not, this is the end of them all. Let me just share the story that I had with you. It's about a man who slept, he took his siesta in the afternoon for only 30 minutes. The man slept for 30 minutes in the afternoon. He saw himself, he attended nursing school, primary school, university, he studied, he became professor, he became governor in the dream, he became president in the dream, he bought car, he has wives, he had everything he wanted to have here in the dream. He had get everything. And there in the dream, he decided to travel back home. He entered into his jet. The jet started flying. When the jet landed in his town there in the dream, he was coming out from the jet. When he still touched the ground and he woke up. And he started saying, where's my certificate? Where's my car? Where's my this? Where's my dad? And people say, maybe you are dreaming. <laughs> maybe you are dreaming. He said, no, where did you? at the end of it all, he realized that it was a dream. What am I trying to bring out? David in Psalm 90, verse 4, 2 to 6, he said, our days are like a dream. Our life here is like a dream. It does not matter how long or how short one live. One thing is sure that you will die one day. This young man that had the dream, that had the cars and everything in the dream, when he woke up, he did not come into this house with any of those things. Everything that Patrick had. Did he go with any of them? Is he going with anything? Either money, either car, either whatever. And I don't know. He did not even go with any of you. I don't know if any of you can say, okay, I love him, I want to follow him. It's not possible. It does not matter how your father, your mother, your parents love you. This is the end of them all. Your car, your money, your shoe, your clothes, they can not go. If you can't go with any of them. So that tells us that this life is vanity upon vanity. Oh, it's vanity. So says the wisest king. Solomon. And that tells us that here in this art, we should take life easily. There's no need of struggling for power. If you get to power, God will take you there. God wants us to become rich. God wants us to be blessed. But let's follow the way of God. Let's take everything easy. And that calls us as young people because we are all Young people here, as we are preparing for 2023 election in Nigeria, 2023 election in Nigeria, let's follow what is right. Let's follow what is good. For us Christian and Muslim and pagan, let's commit everything into the hand of God that God should choose for us. And as we are saying God should choose for us, I think it is time for us, young leaders, young Nigeria, to come up and to do what we make Nigeria better for all of us. And as I've been saying it, as a as Kian Khan chairman in Lagos Island is, I said that the government should make sure that we have the necessary thing that we need to have to have better election in 2023. Yes. There's nothing wrong for us to go in electronic voting so that all will be able to go well with us. As a nation, I pray 
the soul of our brother will rest in perfect peace. And all of us remaining behind, he agrees to serve God and to serve humanity better. So that at the end, when we all live here, we'll be able to reign in glory in the kingdom which Jesus Christ has done to prepare for those who love him and serve him faithfully to the end. We pray God we console the family, God we uphold the siblings, and God we keep all of us remaining behind. And at the end, we will live together in the kingdom that Christ has gone to prepare for those who love him, for those who serve him faithfully to the end. May the soul of our brother reign in perfect peace. Amen. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We know that in the earthly house of our tabernacle be dissolved. We have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God of his great mercy to take unto himself the soul of our brother, friend, Brother Patrick, Adepo, and the Pacoya, here departed. We therefore commit his body to the ground. Ask to add. Ask to add. Ashes to ashes. And dust to dust. Ensure a certain hope of the restoration of eternal life through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who shall fashion a new body of our humiliation, that it may be conformed to the body of his glory, according to the working whereby he is able even to subject all things unto himself. Amen. Amen. I had a voice from heaven saying unto me, From henceforth, blessed are the dead that died in the Lord. Even so, says the Spirit, for they rest from their labors. You are the King of glory, O Christ. You are the everlasting Son of the Father. When you have overcome the sharpness of death, you opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You sit at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that you shall come to be our judge. We therefore pray you help your servants whom you have redeemed with your precious blood. Make them to be numbered with your state in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. Merciful God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the resurrection and the life, in whom whosoever believe shall live, though he die. Whoever lives and believes in him shall not die eternally. We make beseech you, O Father, to raise us from the dead of sin unto the life of righteousness, that when we shall depart this life, we may be found accepted in your sight, and receive that blessing which your well beloved Son shall pronounce to all that love and fear you, saying, Come. You blessed children of my Father, receive the kingdom prepared for you of the beginning of the world. Grant it, we beseech you, O merciful Father, through Jesus Christ, our mediator and redeemer. O God, the strength of the way, the comfort, the comfort of the soul, the strength of the moment. Let no sorrow overwhelm your children, for the anguish of hearts turn them from you. Rather than that in the penitence of hope and the fellowship of Christ, they may continue in your service and in all godly living, until at length they also obtain from the fullness of life before your face, through Jesus Christ our Lord. O oh, glory and thanksgiving be to you, the Almighty God and Heavenly Father. For that, you of the attendant mercy did give your only Son, Jesus Christ, to take our nature upon him, 
and to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption. We bless you for that victory over death and the grief which he had obtained for us and for all who rest in him. And we pray the peoples in fellowship with all who wait for you on earth and with all the company of heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. of God and our dear brother in Christ, go forth upon your journey from this world, O Christian soul. In the name of God, the Father Almighty, who created you, in the name of Jesus Christ, who suffered for you, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, who sanctify you and strengthen you. Amen. Amen. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, enjoy and subscribe. Subscribe and hit it. Face TV. Was